So I'm actually filming this before those farmer carries that you just saw. So uh, you're in the future right now. I'm still in the past. I actually don't know how I did on those. Hopefully I did well. Hopefully uh, I didn't get stuck to the ground by them. Um, but anyway, showing you the, uh, the outside world here. Here we go. Look at that greenhouse. Looking pretty good, huh? Um, yeah, filming this now because I want to see what my weight is before having a bunch of water and, you know, whatnot, um, coffee and all that. Because typically on the bulk, that's when I check the weight. So for an accurate, you know, weight measured or moderately accurate, I should check before. So let's see. Let's check without the uh, shoes here too. Let's see. All right. So with shoes, let's see. Let me figure out what the shoes actually weigh. Probably a pound-ish. Yeah, ish. All right, cool. Under 210, good stuff. All right, I'll show you the workout now. Here's the workout plan. Obviously, you just saw the uh, body weight carries, success. They didn't feel easy, but I felt like I had more in me at the end, which is uh, definitely good success. So it means I might give 270 a shot next week, depending on how things feel. Um, I just feel like a, the grip has been pretty locked in the last two times. I don't know what the uh, change there is, but... Going in the right direction. Um, the tripod took a little bit of a hit when I was around in the corner there. It was actually just the wind was pushed the uh, door in, um, but hopefully the tripod's okay. So now we're onto the chin ups, double rows, single arm pulls, and then the farmer curls. A little duct tape. Oh, there you are. And the uh, tripod is back up and running. Took a hit there, but it's all good. Worth it to get those farmer carries to the end. <sighs> okay. <sighs> hopefully. I think it may be seven, eight, but I really want to keep that form good. So we'll see. I had a little extra rest because I had to go inside, get some duct tape, fix the tripod. Now we're back. So maybe, maybe that'll help. Maybe that'll hurt. Come on. Time to break through. Break through a little with these. Looks good. Eight is within reach. Not sure about the uh, range of motion on those. All right, well, that is one reason why it's good to record your sets sometimes because those felt pretty good. Um, then I watched the video and my chin was not getting to the bar. Um, I mean, I feel like the lats, it's more, you know, they're, they're more working at the bottom range of motion anyway, but still for consistency's sake, tracking, you know, progression, I gotta keep my form consistent other movements it's a little easier to know like squats um, a little a little easier to tell if you're getting a full squat or not same with deadlift pull-ups chin-ups um you know but all that to say irregardless i want to keep my form good um hopefully you know what i mean like with, with pull-ups and chin-ups i feel like you can still get good gain uh, muscle wise if you even if you're not going chin all the way to the bar because it's mostly lats um, you know working at the bottom range of motion um, at least that's how it feels while I'm doing it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, 
So yeah, either way, I, I really want to get the chin to the bar on this set. Um, and I wouldn't have known it unless I'd recorded the set because it felt pretty good. So um, I record the set. I can see afterwards that it was crappy form. Eh. Learn from it, drop the weight. <clears throat> so now we're at 70 pounds and we will hopefully do better. That felt better. Again, video will tell the truth. I think when I get over 100, I might add in the belt, but I don't know. I feel like I think about this every time, but they always feel really solid on the hamstrings and the back, and it never hurts the lower back. Just feel like it's making the lower back stronger. So staying at the 95 pounds, trying to get 12 like last time, but hopefully the last three or four are a little better, a little farther on the range of motion, but we shall see. All right. Here we go. I don't know why I wore all green today. It's just how it worked out. Good to double check the weight. Get some good uh, pressure in the noggin with those. Not in a bad way, just because I'm leaning over. Um, yeah, those felt good. I still feel like 12, maybe 11, too, is a little short, but I think 9 and 10 were a little better. So I'm going to rest it for a little bit onto those pull downs. All right, last movement for back. I'm trying to get 12 with the, this. Um, recovery was much better last night and I try to never really take naps if, if I can avoid it. Um, cause I feel like throw off the rhythm of the, uh, day, but cause I knew yesterday I was a little under recovered. I figured today just like not even a nap, just like lay down and kind of quiet the mind for like 15, 20 minutes, reset the body felt a lot better, you know, after I sat up and started having caffeine and all that. So the recovery is like absolutely huge. I mean, you can have a super intense workout, but if you don't recover from it, I mean, um, you're almost going to just break down muscle and go in the opposite direction. So got to get that recovery. All that's to say, I'm feeling better today than yesterday. So and yesterday wasn't a bad day either. Just like I could tell, you know, the energy wasn't hundred percent. So, um, but enough, uh, enough of that talk. I didn't put the safeties up. All right. Well, let's hope we do what we can. set complete.
made some good progress with those. Whew. <clears throat> Make sure I get this lined up right. All right, so one more set. I'll give it a couple seconds, um, and then we'll do some uh, farmer curls. And then I'm going to do my accessory stuff if I have time. I won't do the sprints tomorrow because look at that. It's already almost deadlift day again. I'm going to have to put something different in the uh, discussion board section. So far, I've only asked about deadlifts. Hey, I like deadlifting. It is what it is. All right, so seven, probably. These are moving right along. Still not at the point where I need to adjust too much. Although I think once I go up to 100 pounds, single arm, that'll probably start to lift me up a little bit. All right, last thing for back. So I'll give it a couple minutes, get the uh, farmer curls in. Oh, got to check. This might be the thumbnail because the uh, farmer carry, for whatever reason, the lighting's not as good when I go back into the forest. But I like that trail as opposed to going out across the lawn. There's actually a lot more bumps in the lawn and there's some kind of mole or something or other digging up the lawn so there's these little patches where you step on it and it just kind of like gives way so um i'm kind of patting down that area um but as i've gone up in weight um over the 200 mark i feel like the foot just compresses into the ground a little more under that it was, it was fine um and i just kind of like going back into the woods <laughs> fun Shady back there. All right, a little rest. All right, last thing, and then it's time to do some greenhouse building, which I'm very excited about because we're in the final stages. Uh, I'm going to do farmer curls, farmer grip curls with 50 pounds, which is the normal. I've done 11, but if my memory serves me correctly, which it does, the last couple reps last Tuesday were a little dodgy. So I'm going to try and keep it form a little better um, and hopefully get in the 10 plus range. We shall see. These, I feel like, have been huge for the forearms and biceps. Right. And they don't squeak, which is nice.
All right. Good workout today. You can only hold your breath for so long in those. All right. Oh boy. Last thing. And then rest. I did some calf raises in between. Oh yeah. That's how you know you push the arms good. If super lightweight for you specifically feels challenging. Okay. Oh. Man. Okay. That was it. That was good. Solid one today. Food was good. Um, even on the, the cutting. Um, recovery was better for sure than Sunday to Monday. Um, that was my own fault. Sunday to uh, Monday. I stayed up a little bit later. I mean, I usually stay up until maybe like 9 and then start settling down. So I kind of messed that up by like 20 minutes. Um, plus when you're like watching stuff right before you go to sleep, I feel like it's harder to fall asleep. So what I try and do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is no like video watching um, basically at all throughout the day. Um, obviously I'm working anyway, so I'm not really able to, but uh, especially at night, limited to nothing other than like I'll answer you know people on YouTube and, and post YouTube content obviously um, but that's it um, and then I just try and read settle the mind a little bit and I feel like that gives me good recovery and then on the on the weekends um, I don't do as much of the reading I do more you know like videos and stuff like that watching lifting stuff whatever movies um, but I feel like the better sleep always comes when um, I'm reading before I go to sleep, just settles the mind, good book, you know, about whatever, um, you know, something interesting, sci-fi, uh, you know, something fun to read, um, or, you know, something historical and, uh, you know, actually, uh, <laughs> intellectually developing, developing, well, either way, I think reading develops the mind, but, um, obviously certain books are probably better than others, but all that to say the recovery was better last night because I did the reading, not the uh, videos and entertainment. So slept better because of that. Had a better workout today, which is the ultimate goal. Um, so yeah, just figured I'd share that because I've noticed a really big difference doing that. Um, and that could be something that might help somebody else. Um, you know, something to possibly consider as far as a better recovery. At least, like I think studies say like at least 15 to 30 minutes before you go to sleep. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, basically not at all. Before I go to sleep. Um, so I think that probably makes the biggest difference, but like at least 15 to 30 minutes before you're going to sleep, trying to settle the mind. Um, but anyway, just some thoughts there. Interested to hear what, what other people have to say about that and other people's like pre sleep um, routines that's helped them. Um, feel free to post in the comment section because I'm always trying to work on improving my own recovery, obviously. Um, so we definitely appreciate that. If you like the content, please subscribe. Um, drop a comment about anything, really. Helps the uh, algorithm. And I'll see you tomorrow for some log press, shoulders, laterals. Um, and then after that, we got deadlifts. All right, that's it. Hope your day's going well. Peace.